everyone welcome to a bit of a random vlog we've just come back from a walk and we saw some very cute fluffy gooselings so half of this vlog is going to be just very wholesome and yeah just filled with cute fluffy things part of this vlog is also going to be me looking at alternatives to selling on etsy um so yeah i think that's where we're starting the vlog earlier from this morning um i just didn't really film a proper like intro so yeah basically i'm going to be looking at some different kind of alternative markets to etsy looking through all the fees etsy have like they seem to like to make it very very confusing like there's not only fees for listing but then there's like the fee when you make a sale and then they charge vat on top of that I seem to have so many different fees so yeah this morning me and tom were kind of going through that then we've gone for a walk seeing the ducklings um we're now about to play a game so that'll be fun tomorrow i'm going to actually try and set up some different alternatives like set up some alternative shops so i might have a look at doing folksy which is like the kind of uk equivalent of etsy anyway welcome to the vlog i hope you enjoy it hopefully it will keep you company for a bit they anyway. Found you. you found me? Oh, Tom found me running. Do I want to show you? It's a very flattering photo. Not bad at all. You can't really see me. There I am. Me and Tom have gone back to our running club. So, yeah. We've been... We, we do that on a Saturday. Um, Tom went for a really long run this morning by himself. For how long did you run for, Tom? It wasn't that long. It was um, less than two hours. Less than two hours. I think that is pretty wrong. Pretty wrong. <laughs> pretty long. <laughs> and maybe also pretty wrong as well. I think half an hour run is like my maximum. Is it cycling after? Yes, Tom did running then he went for a cycle on the exercise bike and now we've just gone for a walk so tom is just tom is starving he's just eating a pasty um we've also bought a cake anyway this is meant to be the intro uh, and i'm i, I, it's I hope ten minutes. it's in 10 minutes <laughs> i hope i can piece this together we're gonna play a game now um anyway see you back here in a bit um, Tom is very kindly helping me. Very. You use it if you actually had a calculator. I might have a calculator somewhere. We're just. Um, I've been doing some research into having a look at some alternative online marketplaces to Etsy. Um, because if you don't know, Etsy recently put their prices up, like their transaction fees. They sent us an email a while ago, which was worded really funny because it was kind of like worded in a really positive way as if like, oh yeah, we're gonna like get more customers coming to your shops and we're gonna invest all this money into like marketing and all this other stuff. Um, and then it's basically- TLDR. What's TLDR mean? Too long, doesn't- <laughs> Too long, didn't read! Oh my God, you're so rude! No, no, not, not for you, oh, but for the email. I thought you meant my explanation. No. But TLDR is, we're charging you more money. Yeah, basically trying to, like, gaslight us and then be like, oh yeah, by the way, the transaction fee is going up. I've just been having a look through kind of like the breakdown because um, if you have an Etsy shop, if you go to, like, finances and then look at your monthly statements, you can see how the fees are broken down. And yeah, basically, Etsy have been putting their prices up for a while. Recently, it was 5% transaction fees, plus all the other fees that they like to charge. But it's gone up from 5% to 6.5. But then on top of that, you have the listing fees. Yeah, I don't know why they like to break the fees down into so yeah. many things, just to make it more confusing, uh, I think. I think that VAT on sellers, oh yeah, it says on sellers fees, so that is... The, so the, it's, so, they so, charge so, VAT. So they charge you processing fees, transaction fees, yeah. and then they charge VAT they on it, which seems well. 
They charge it at 20 and a half percent. Okay. Which I didn't know was a thing, but that's yeah. a thing. <laughs> and so on the spreadsheet, we can add on the thing. Tom's been making me a spreadsheet. He's so lovely. Add 20 and a half percent to the fees. Mm -hmm. We need to make another column. <laughs> we need more columns. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I've started looking into alternatives to sell on Etsy. Um, the things I like about Etsy is I like the fact that they do bring customers um, to my shop. Obviously, I'm bringing some of the traffic because um, like I have social media and stuff and I'm advertising well not adver not paid advertising but you know I'm promoting my work that way so I bring some of my own traffic um, but Etsy you know it's a big like search engine so sometimes people do just find me from searching on Etsy which is something that I like I know some people they do decide to like just have their shop on their website but then you don't get that other traffic so yeah, I've been thinking about looking for like alternatives. I think I'm actually going to do a whole separate video um, and maybe I'll do kind of like an experiment and see what it's like to set up some other shops. Yeah, see if I make any sales on these other shops. But yeah, my sales on Etsy have been down as well from like Brexit and things. Well, we don't know why, but it... Probably. From Brexit. It's I mean, since it could Brexit. Have been since Brexit. So it's kind of. Um, but it's also. A bit of a coincidence. It, it's since Brexit, but it's also more since. Um, like. Less COVID, lockdowns. Less lockdowns, people going out but, and. Yeah, you don't know. Going like into actual shops. Damn, actual shops. Actual shops. <laughs> I'm looking at. I've made a list. So I'm looking at Folksy, which is a UK kind of equivalent to Etsy. I'm also looking at Not On The High Street, although I did hear that the like fees for that are quite high, so we'll see. I have also applied for like wholesale. There's a, a wholesale one called Fair, which I've applied for, but I've been put on the wait list for that, so that could be like months before I find out about that. How's the spreadsheet going? Nearly done. Nearly done. I'm not very good with spreadsheets. But my spreadsheet knowledge is based on Excel from like 2003. <laughs> so, so, so everything I need to do, I just look up. How I do can't you... see your face. Yeah, you that's gone. a good thing. Hi, my face. No, we want to see your lovely face. Anyway, I think we're going to go for a walk soon, so I might take you along on our walk. We might buy cake. Yeah, I'm bad at Excel because it didn't copy how I want it, so I'm doing it um... like that. Yeah, but I don't even do understand, like, I, I don't have the mathemat mathematical kind of knowledge to work out what I need to do sometimes. Don't put yourself down. Oh, you do. thank you. Yes, I'm a smart, independent business lady. Yes, you are. <laughs> thank you. But sometimes I need help, and you're very helpful. And might cut the grass. <laughs> Probably not. That could be um, Never Have I Ever, could not it? <laughs> we don't play Never Have I Ever. But if we did... Never Have I Ever cut the grass. But that means you have to drink. It does? Oh my goodness, look at this angle. So why I've would made, anyone need I've to drink? you look enormous and I look tiny. You drink, you drink. Well, we could do it with tea. Since when have you done drinking games? Who are you? I, many years ago, but no, I don't drink. You've done a drinking game? I probably have years ago, like maybe, maybe 15 years ago. <laughs> but we could do a drinking game with tea. Shall we go out then? Yes, yes. Let's go for a walk and then maybe get some cake and games. Well, it does, you, you still make a profit. <laughs> I still make, I'm not losing money. <laughs> um, yeah, that's something. Also, who likes my OOTD? I'm dressed like a daisy field. I'm dressed like a daisy field? No, yeah, I'm wearing green. I'm dressed like a daisy field. Okay. I have a green dress with daisies on it. Oh, it's gone quiet now, the computer's off. Green you don't actually set noise when it's on. Daisy earrings. 
And this is Tom's O O T D. I'm just burning my burning <laughs> yeah. I thought that saved the washing. <laughs> Wow, what an angle. <laughs> what an angle. But, but passing person walking their dog or something, and you can be there sat in the front garden, like, would you like a pin or a sticker? That uh, sounds like a good plan. I decided to, Tom was making a good suggestion that I could just basically sell my wares. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I did sell. not tell you to sell, sell your wares. No, I mean sell my pins. Um, like just have a table out out front, um, outside of the house, and just sell my stuff that way. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke, but it might work. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I need shoes. I mean, in money. I mean, keys. I'm wearing trainers because they're comfy. I think we just need a moment to appreciate. My outfit of the day. I might have to get Tom to to do a full outfit thing. It's I love this mirror, but it's kind of hard to do outfit <laughs> outfit uh, things in. Also, excuse the stuff on the back of the chair there. Let me cover it up with this bag. Oh, shout out to Jess from Jess was here. She says like she positions herself to like cover mess in the background. I do that too. <laughs> Shout out to all the messy uh, creators. But to be fair, it's a good trick. Just like angle your body. Oh look, it's all tiny. sure what this vlog is gonna be um, I don't know if you're gonna see any art I um, I started a video the other day which is gonna be all about like me making some greetings cards and as per usual I kind of um, bit off a bit more than I could chew because I decided that I would design five separate greeting cards and I was trying to like make them and film a video about it and then get it edited for Wednesday and I don't think that's gonna happen because uh, I've only actually done two sketches <laughs> and so yeah I don't really have much time to get that done so I thought we'd just have a random vlog I've seen photos of my pins that are coming so they're actually again gonna be arriving in a couple of weeks um, so that's good so hopefully if I look into doing some like alternative marketplaces then i can maybe do my shop update like on folksy or something as well but yeah i think i'm still going to be keeping etsy for the time being but just to see what other options there are out there so for the shop update i've got pins coming i've got a necklace my first necklace and then hopefully if i can do the greeting cards um i can have those for the shop update as well so there will be a whole video about making greeting cards coming soon when I actually finish the greeting cards. That's pretty. Butterflies. Are they cabbage butterflies? Whenever I see cabbage butterflies, I just remember how when we were growing kale, and when I say we, I mean Tom, was growing kale. We went in the garden and we were like, oh, there's loads of nice cabbage butterfly or like no what was it we were like oh there's loads of white butterflies in the garden and then realized that they were cabbage butterflies and they'd eaten loads of the kale <gasps> bluebells bluebells i um i should have taken which way are we going we're going this way i should have taken my bluebell cat wow i did actually take a video um of my bluebell cat recently but ah Try not to trip. Which, yeah, I'll put on the screen the little video that I did of my bluebell cat. Oh, 
I remember you taking me this way before when it was very muddy. It's not so bad at the moment. Um, what, what are you? Um, what are you? I'm an Olympic athlete. That's your smart, independent business lady. And you can jump up a step. Do it now. Three, two, one, go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it when I don't think about it. Oh, Got him. Okay, right. That, that was a step. I know that was a step. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain is so annoying. You did it so easily. <laughs> <laughs> you can see me going to do it, can't you? Uh -huh. like, no, I can't do it. That, that was more of a skip, but better. Good. And now, okay. now a full jump. No? <laughs> yes! And again, yes, and again, yes! Oh, you got it! Oh my god! Well done! Bow to you! Shall we explain the story? Bow to you! Thank you, I'm getting sweaty! Okay, if you were wondering... What, 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 what the story is basically what happened there? <laughs> the story is I can't, I, I, no, I can jump. You can see I can jump, but, so I, I mentioned before that I've started doing a step class, which, Again, I'll put a picture up if you don't know what a step class is. <laughs> Minus the 80s outfits. Um, there was one bit where you had to jump onto the step and for some reason, just in my, in my brain, I just couldn't do it. Like, that step back there was not very big. But we had the same thing. I was telling Tom the story about how I couldn't jump onto this step. We found some steps in town, which I think were actually slightly bigger than that step it just was, there. Yeah. It was bigger. And I could do it the first time. And then after that, my brain just stopped me because then I was just thinking about but, jumping. But that was in public. It was around it by those it, it flats. Was, it was in some, by some flats. So you probably had people like looking out the window at me. Um, I think you were brave doing Thank it. you. Let me show you this cool tree. It's a husk. <laughs> Onwards to the ducks. Oh, see this one. <laughs> and you're uphill, so that's... <laughs> what you reckon? No, I'm already thinking about it. Ah, what if I do it? Okay, stepping. I can do stepping. So good at stepping. Step I can do. See, this is basically my step class. Like, step, step, step. And the jump. And the jump. On the No? <laughs> I like the look around. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like your hop, but it's good. Oh, my ankle! <laughs> <laughs> See, injury! <laughs> Okay, good effort. Um. Thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just about okay, but still. Steps are dangerous, obviously. That's what I've told myself. No, they're not really dangerous. No, I don't want to. That one's too high. Do you want to jump your in? That's Everest. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that one? <laughs> there are no ducks. Well, there are hardly any ducks. There is one female there. We found where the ducks were. We were hoping they were going to be little fluffy ones, but obviously we, we are too early for the fluffy ones. Oh wait, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, there are fluffy ones. They, I think they're, <laughs> I think they're the gooselings. Ooh, should we get a bit closer? Oh, I was wondering why the, um, the dump geese were just like Yeah. Here. But yeah, they're, they're just um, they're fluffy ones. minding, aren't they? And get bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Because they suddenly. Because they really look like the they, same they as like normal duck, ducks. They? Yeah. yeah, they're just. They're just so fluffy. And then they get like long necks. They're just so fluffy. <laughs> oh, mum and dad's just being vigilant, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's washing. They're a bit nice, aren't they? They're lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, foraging. <laughs> A good thing to eat. <laughs> I think I can see four. four. Yes, oh, there's one there. Oh, where are you? Here, where are you off to, mister? Do you mean, did you mean to go that way? Are you stuck? This carpet's a bit strong for you. Yeah. Them, 
Yeah, don't you came paddling away, Aww. but it's barely making any progress. I was working so hard to get there. Yeah. Just keep swimming. <laughs> it's nearly there. We are back. This is upside down. Okay, we are back from our walk. We also nipped into Tesco's and we for bought- For junk food. For junk food. We, Tom, literally on the last vlog, I showed that we got cake. <laughs> That's fine. We like cake. We've never tried this one, so we'll let you know if it's any good. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a slight fail. Nice bite sized pieces. <laughs> you get a star. What does the star taste of? Does it taste of anything? Is it just icing? What do you think? The star is literally just sugar. It's mm. like orange. I think it's also a gluten free one. I've had better, but it's not, it's not bad. It's yeah. But it's cake. It's quite nice and chocolatey and orangey. Yeah. Mm. so we can see. <laughs> we were too high up. Well done, Tom. Let me show you my favourite cards. I love the historian. He's a bat. He's adorable. The doctor is so cute. He collects berries. I just, I love the artwork. I think that would be such a fun job to actually do the artwork for okay. a game. Hi everyone, I'm about to go post, I've got a couple of orders, don't want to show you the addresses, so I've got these to post, um, so I'm going to do that in a minute, but I just thought that I would kind of give you a little bit of an update on what I'm planning. I'm still going to have my Etsy shop open, but I think I'm going to open a folksy as well, which is what I was kind of thinking about yesterday when we went on our walk. So yeah, I'm going to set that up. If I have set that up by the time that I've edited this video and put that up, then that will be in the description. But yeah, I've looked into Not On The High Street and Not On The High Street seems like the commission fees are really, really expensive. You have to actually apply, so you don't, you're not guaranteed to get on it. I do think the, the things that I sell, like the enamel pins and the prints um, and other kind of like illustrated whimsical things that I sell I think they're good enough but yeah you just have to apply first of all and then you have to pay like a one-off fee to even join and it's like 200 ish pounds to even join it and then I think it's like is it 20% let me just look it up because I Oh my goodness, so no, it's 25% commissions. They take 25% plus VAT. So it's even more expensive than Etsy at the moment. Plus you have to pay, um, I'm looking at the number here, you have to pay £238.80. That is a lot. I don't think that is an option for if you're like just starting a shop. Um, but Folksy on the other hand, they do, uh, two different kind of memberships so you can either join for free and then you pay for the listings and I think it's something like 15p per listing and then they take 6% commission or you can pay £5 a month then you have like unlimited free listings and then you're just paying the 6% commissions which they don't actually take that on the postage 
so that's really good. I mentioned before that the like transaction fee for Etsy has changed and it's gone up to 6.5 but they also take 4% as well which they call a processing fee including the cost of the postage which I think is really cheeky because you're not actually making any profit on the postage and so especially if you're sending international orders you have to pay more to send the international orders but then Etsy are taking more of a percentage of that I just don't think that's fair I hope that some of that made sense I think I'm gonna do a separate video about folksy in the future so yeah let me know if you're interested in learning more about that and maybe after I've been on there for like a month or, or two then I can see what it's like and yeah do like a review and yeah let you know how I'm getting on with that but yes I think I'm actually gonna wrap up this random vlog here i hope you've enjoyed it i'm sending you lots of love i hope you've had a wonderful day a wonderful week and i'll see you in my next video okay bye gone then the hills are alive you have to sing it you know the words <laughs> i'm sorry for laughing <laughs> oh, i think i've just shook, shook the camera with my laughing there thank you for coming i know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile